Hey, what's going on guys? With the new release of Modern Warfare 2, I wanted to go over some ways you can maybe fix your game from crashing or just not launching correctly or any of those things. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is going to your graphics card, kind of like control panel. And for mine, it's Chief Force Experience, so you want to just type that in and find it there. Pull that up and then make sure you go to drivers from your home. And under here, you will see uh, update or like or like install new drivers so you want to make sure you install those drivers and as you can see mine is actually uh, updating right now like I'm downloading a new driver so just make sure you do that and then you want to restart your computer after that's done and the next thing you want to do is find Modern Warfare 2 in your library on Steam right click it go down to manage and then browse local files after that's done you want to scroll down until you find the COD folder go down to properties and open up that find compatibility then you want to do run this program and compatibility for Windows 8 and after that's done not Windows 7 Windows 8 and then after that's done you want to click apply and then you want to click OK and that's not gonna work for everybody just a few few of you maybe but definitely just try that doesn't hurt and I'm gonna switch it back because mine was running fine before <laughs> but after that's done, you can actually close that out and then go to go back to here again and go to manage. Or actually, sorry, you want to go down to properties, find local files, and then this is a huge one: view integrity of game files. And your screen's gonna go black and ask you for a. You just click yes, pretty much. Pop-up's gonna come up. But after that's done, this is very big, very important. It's pretty much gonna go through all of your files of Modern Warfare 2. And make sure every file isn't, you know, there's none corrupted or there's none that are screwing it up. So this is pretty much going to make sure that it's launching correctly. And then you know that there's nothing wrong with the game files and it's actually your computer or something if it's still not working. So definitely make sure you do that. And it's going to take a little bit because it's a pretty big game. And the very last thing I'm going to go over is putting it on your SSD. So if you don't know you have an SSD or if you or if you don't know your game is on an SSD under local files where you know we verified integrity of the files you will see right here 55 gigs on a one terabyte this is mine that might be different SSD and it'll say the drive name so E so make sure when you go to storage pretty much that it's on the right SSD like this is my C drive this isn't an SSD I just put everything else on here like kinda like the garbage and my Photoshop and whatever else I need but I usually put my games on a SSD not every computer is gonna come with an SSD and if you built it just you can kinda check by looking in your computer and by going through your computers settings and storage settings you'll find out if you have an SSD or not if you really don't know but definitely put it on your SSD if you haven't done so already and that's just gonna make it run quicker it's not gonna fix any like any crashing issues or anything like that it won't it won't help that but it'll definitely make it run better and load a lot faster but yeah that's all i got for you guys today i hope some of that helps but have a great day everybody